G'day everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be running an experiment which is both fairly fast and reasonably pointless. But because I also find it quite interesting, we're going to go ahead and do it anyway. So today we're looking at the differences between smoldering combustion and flaming combustion. And to demonstrate the differences, we're going to go ahead and burn some leaves. So you can see here we've got our leaves and we're adding them to the container. And as soon as we add flame to the leaves, the overall weight starts to reduce. And this is because as the leaves are burning, they are emitting pyrolysis gases. Now these gases, which are also known as smoke, actually have some physical weight to them. So as the leaves are burning, they are in fact losing weight. And you can see that on the scales below, where as they continue to burn, the weight starts to reduce further and further. And the leaves will continue to lose weight as long as there is smoke or flame coming out of them. Because as long as there is smoke or flame, there is actually particles leaving the leaves and therefore they're losing weight. But something really interesting happens once the smoke and the flame actually stops. And what we see then is a surface oxidation. And what's happening is the leaves are in fact still burning, but they're burning in place. And the oxygen is actually attaching to the fuel while it's still connected to the remainder of the leaves. And so what we see is the leaves actually start to regain some of the weight that they lost while they were smoking and flaming. And this is what we call a surface oxidation. And this is a really interesting flip side to what we've seen earlier in the experiment. Now what we're going to do is demonstrate this again, but we're only going to demonstrate the surface oxidation by burning some steel wool. And you can see here that as soon as we actually apply the flame to the steel wool, we can see that surface oxidation taking off. And slowly but surely, we can see that the scales are starting to pick up on the fact that the oxygen is joining on to the steel wool and forming iron oxide in our little dish. And sure enough, we begin to see the overall weight of that dish increase. And this is because of the oxygen that's actually attaching itself to the steel wool. Now, it's important to note that there are still some products leaving the smoldering combustion. Carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide are two good examples of that. But because we're seeing more oxygen join onto the original fuel source, then we are seeing particles actually leave. What we see is an overall increase in weight. All right, so now we've seen that in flaming combustion, we're actually seeing a lot of products leave the material and therefore the original fuel source gets lighter. Whereas in smoldering combustion, we're seeing a lot more of those oxygen atoms attach onto the fuel source where it is, and therefore we can actually see the fuel source gain weight because of the extra oxygen atoms that are now attached to it. But that's it for this one. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya!